Hey there, it's Mandy from Mandy Marie Art and welcome to my new daily painting series. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know exactly when I post a new video. All right, so today I'm gonna use a sheet of mixed media paper from Canson. I don't remember the weight of this paper. Um, I wish I did. I'm going to double check on the weight of the mixed media from Canson and I will list it either on the screen or in the description below. So we'll get we'll get to the bottom of it eventually. I'm going to tape this down and we'll get started. All right, so I'm going to start first with some charcoal. Okay, some ink spray on the page. And some India ink. Been using this combination a lot lately. But I just really enjoy it. I'll let this dry really quick and be back. All right, so we're back. I am going to now add some white paint over top of this. This is basic white acrylic paint. Oh, I guess that purple is not dry. <laughs> Oh well, that's okay. So I'm still waiting for the white paint to dry, but I saw these two colors. I really just want to bring them in really quick while I'm thinking about them. Yeah, so I still really like those two colors. I'm going to wait for this paint to dry. I'm going to bring in some pink. I'm going to bring in some other colors. But I really like the direction. Had a little bit of a hiccup. Um, a tool kind of ran into the paper, peeled some of it up, but that's okay. Because I am going to add to it. Okay. This is some white fluid acrylic that I mix up myself. I'll link below how I do that. I don't think this mixed media paper is gonna hold up to this, but that's okay, we're just exploring.
And this makes some cool textured results, which is why I'm doing it and why I like it. So we'll leave that. And once it's dry, I'm gonna come back in with some more black, actually. Do some more of that spray. Since it's gonna be drying anyway. And make a swipe of this color. Here and what am I going to use to paint this? There is, there we go. This creates such cool lines. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry and come back. It's not dry yet, but I just have this sneaking suspicion that it will be done. Without needing dry time. I just have to add some things that are missing. And the last thing being, I need a pair of rubber gloves for this because it always makes a mess. Just needs a little bit of acrylic ink. Okay. And my spray bottle. Splatters. Ooh, lost it. And oh, some of that white's drifting in. Quite balanced yet. Oh. 
All right, so I peeled the tape back. Um, this paper just really wasn't thick enough for what I was doing to it. Um, it wasn't heavy enough. So if I were to do this kind of style again in this pattern, heavier paper, um, it's still drying, but I think it has a lot of really cool texture, some good movement, some good color balance. Um, so, you know, when you're thinking about the colors, you have kind of like this blue green. I threw in some red orange, purple, almost making it somewhat of a split complementary color palette, which works well when you're just starting out, like trying to find ways to find like complements or analogous colors or split complements. That's really going to help as you kind of start to learn and feel color and and essentially kind of like what works for you and what you tend to like. I'm gonna let this one dry. I may even frame this one and just kind of see what happens to it, but that's it for today. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's meet up again.